So to to this video, uh, I'm going to introduce uh, quickly introduce this commutator algebra and uh, prove uh, all these property. So uh, you can view that if somebody give you a b, then commutator of a b divided by a b minus b a. So uh, generally, uh, we may if you are you are quick uh, care about this uh, basically. Uh, you can view this AB as a matrix, or basically the uh, so-called operators. Uh, but actually, there's in physics, I think there's no uh, re definition for these operators. Basically, all, all you can think is this AB are linear. Okay. So the first one is AA to be zero. This is trivial, right? Because AA is just A square minus A square is zero, and AB minus BA. So this is uh, there is a negative sign. And for any uh, for any uh, scalar c, then it's zero because what already says that uh, we assume that a is linear. So a c minus c a is just uh, c, right? You can take c out. Okay, and uh, this is also uh, common because if you type c here, then c is a number, right? And then this is trivial, right? This is a plus b c equals a c plus b c. Uh, the reason is that a plus b c minus c a b is just uh, a c plus b c minus c a minus b c. So this this is a c. This is b c. Okay. So okay. So uh, this a this one uh, I prove here. So a b c by definition is a b c minus b c a, and then you add b a c here. Okay. And uh, you can pull out the C, so it becomes this, and then pull out the B, it becomes this. Okay, and this is AB, this is AC, okay? And uh, another one is this ABC, right? So ABC minus CAB, so we add ACB, we add minus ACB plus ACB, and then pull out A, so we get BC minus CB, and pull out B, we get AC minus CA, so this is ABC, uh, ACB, okay? So we have already proved this, and then now uh, we can prove this Jacobi identity. Uh, if you're familiar with Lie algebra, then basically this is the one uh, axiom in the Lie algebra. But uh, okay, so now I'm not talking about I will not talk about Lie algebra in this uh, in this video. So this B C is B C minus C B, right? So this is a B C minus a c b right, plus b c a minus b a c plus c a b minus c b a and uh, you so we can expand it like a b c right a b c is, is here uh, basically, if what you, you can show that once you expand this, then you will get A B C B A C, right? There's a six terms. So actually, A C B will give will exchange B and C, and uh, you can view. Uh, okay, so maybe let me just write A C B. It's basically A C B plus uh, A. B. Okay, and then you can see that uh, these term, these CAB turns, may be cancelled by uh, these turns. Uh, let me see. Maybe cancelled by. Mm, maybe cancelled by least turn. But basically, once you expand the six term, then you will see all of them are cancelled. Okay, so actually, uh, you can just use these two and prove these two. Uh, this one. Okay, the final things uh, people like to ask is that's A, B, C, D, right? So we can first use a pool. Uh, you can use this formula. So we can just first that this is called uh, maybe F. So so this is F, right? F, C, D, and then this is C, F, D, right? And then we can then we use these two formula and pull out this, right? So this A, B, C can be written as A, B, C plus A, C, B, D plus C, A, B, D plus A, D, B. So you can expand it, right? Uh, 
It's fine. Uh, you notice that A, B, and B are not commute, so you cannot easily exchange. Uh, you cannot exchange their their order. But uh, you get this. Okay. Okay. So I think this is uh enough short video for the easy commutator algebra, and uh, I will see you guys in the other videos. And uh, be sure to uh, subscribe to my channel. Thanks.